So I'm excited to finally share with you guys that I recently bought a house. Some of you have been following me for a long time and you know that I bought a house at the end of 2022. And what I've been working on is actually getting the interior of my house ready by working with Nuri and Shanti. So these are my interior decorators that I've been working with for almost a, a while. Now. Yeah, almost <laughs> a year. Um, partially my fault, but um, <laughs> and they're with piece by piece design. And I just had the pleasure of working with them to pretty much decorate and design my entire interior of my house. So it's been such a pleasure working with you guys. Aww. It's been a pleasure working and with you too. Yeah, it's been quite a journey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take it back to the beginning though. What made you interested in working with an interior designer? Yeah, so this is actually my very first house. So I've never owned a house in my life. Um, so it's my very first one, which I'm really excited about. And um, it's kind of a lot. It's pretty overwhelming. Uh, it's my first house, I'm by myself. And the house that I was in before was brown, right? So <laughs> the interior, the, the tile floor, the walls, um, all the furniture was pretty much like a brown type of decor, which I knew I wanted a house that was more black, white, gray. And this house was white and gray. And so none of my furniture matched. And then I wasn't sure, like, I think it's a lot to take on to really um, match things and kind of set everything up on your own. So I kind of lost um, when it came to like <laughs> decoration. Like I know like a style or like kind of what I was interested in, but I didn't know where to start. And it's honestly like a big thing to take on when you're, you bought your first house and then it's like, you also have to decorate it and also have to maybe change some of the walls or add different features. So that's why I was interested in an interior decorating team or design team. So yeah, I saw lot. your post. Yeah, so we started working together because I was posting, looking for, I was like, I didn't really know where to start or who to contact or know of any like design team personally. And so I posted it and you reached out to me. Yeah, I've been following you for probably like two years. Really? I actually yeah. didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how I started yeah. following you, but <laughs> I did. Like, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. And, and I found out that you lived in um, Arizona mm -hmm. probably like a few months after following oh, you. Wow. Yeah. So when you posted that, I was like, oh, hey, <laughs> not watch your DMs. Yeah. <laughs> you slid my DM. I yeah. slid in your DMs. Yeah. Perfect. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, here we are almost awesome. a year later. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was just like perfect because I didn't know where to start. I kind of had an idea, but it's just like a lot to take on. I feel like even the professionals. Think it's yeah, <laughs> a lot to take on sometimes. For sure. <laughs> yeah, that's why we have to have really good processes yeah. set yeah. in place. Absolutely. Which we do for sure. Yeah. So like talk us through your design process. Like I know it was easy for me. You guys made it really easy as far as like the whole process, but like, how does your process work? Okay, I'll start. <laughs> yeah, Emily, you, you take this one. <laughs> um, so the first thing that we do was we had mm -hmm. a consultation with you yes. um, and asked you a whole bunch of questions and wanted to know, you know, what your style was, mm -hmm. what your direction was, um, the different colors that you wanted to use. Right. Um, and then I had you set up a Pinterest board mm -hmm. Yes. So that we could share um, images so that I could have like a really good idea of the direction that you mm -hmm. wanted to go. Um, and then I added things to that board as well. Right. And we had many discussions, discussions about it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. That was easy. Yeah. Probably the longest part was just me finding exactly what I liked specifically yep. or like the Pinterest board. Yeah. And I think once you pin those things, it was really easy for me to get inside your head yeah. and know exactly like what you were looking for. For sure. Um, and then I, you know, came and took measurements and did all of the drawings, had Nuri source, like all the furniture that I picked out. And then we had everything delivered and installed and mm -hmm. like all the customized wall features yeah. that we did it was awesome yeah i just feel like the process was just like you guys like have it organized anything that's like the next step you like set it up so i feel like that was just like a really easy process 
And I feel like doing it on my own, I don't know what I would do. You know what I mean? <laughs> you probably so. didn't know like what to do first. Yeah, for That's sure. That's where like a lot of people I think kind like of- Like where to start. Exactly. Kind of. yeah. I mean like starting with what your vision was mm -hmm. and then doing all the drawings and allowing you to see your vision come to life. Definitely. Um, and then picking out, you know, all of the different furniture yes. pieces. That was fun because you gave me like so many options for each piece or whatever. I think that was fun putting together like certain options like these chairs, this couch, this table. Like I think that was the fun part, part of the of process. It. Yeah. <laughs> when you're just presented with options and you see how they all go together, it just makes it so much easier. Right. Then you're not trying to put yeah. things together you're yourself. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Does this go with this? I don't know. Yeah. And you still kind of get to make those choices mm -hmm. through the options that we give you. So, you know, we source mm -hmm. A through Z. And yeah. You get to say, I like these. Yeah. So it still feels like you're a part of the process. Absolutely. Which is unique about what we do mm -hmm. and then how we run our operations. Definitely. Yeah. But it's not overwhelming because you're not looking through thousands yeah. of yeah. different options. That, that's, that's your job. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's why I like it. Yeah. I get to look through right. millions of things and pick through and probably find things that I would never mm -hmm. ever find. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We actually we've got vendors that like you wouldn't even know really? about. Okay. So like your coffee table com came from a vendor that is to the trade oh, only. Wow. So you wouldn't nice. have been able to find it. I wouldn't even find it if I wanted to. <laughs> so. That's great. What's your favorite design of the house? My favorite is probably the library wall in the office. Um, I know I told you guys like I really wanted, like I gave you an example of what I wanted for like a library type of wall. Mm -hmm. And you guys made it, designed it, and obviously the contractors put it together in like exactly how I wanted it, even better than I expected, honestly. Um, so that's just like my favorite because it has the light features, the sconces, it has all the like accessories, and I just think it's like the most interesting like part of the house now. I have like favorites everywhere, but I'd say that's probably like my favorite. Love that. Yeah. What about you guys? What's your favorite? Um, I would have to say the media wall. Mm -hmm. I'm a big movie TV show <laughs> watcher. Yeah. Um, and so, I don't know, the way that it's designed, it's just, it's beautiful, but it gives you that like movie theater at home kind of feel. Uh -huh. So I think that's, that would be my favorite part. Nice. nice. And it transitions well from night to day. Mm -hmm. With the LED lights. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Painted LEDs. Yeah. Love it. Well, they're all my babies. So. <laughs> They're all your babies. <laughs> so I love them all. But, I love them all um, equally. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> How do you pick just one baby? <laughs> no, um, I really love the custom headboard that we did mm -hmm. for you and like, how it's got velvet, mm -hmm. wood, and metal details. Mm -hmm. And um, like, you showed me some things that you wanted and mm -hmm. kind of incorporated multiple things right. from the different items. So yeah, I think... I like how it's like all just the whole wall. Like you can see the headboard is separate, but it like kind of all goes together. Yeah, same. Yeah, I like right. how many unique pieces you have in the home. Yeah. Yeah. Just like interesting pieces in every area mm -hmm. for sure. Did you guys have any challenges um, in the design process? I mean, the challenge I see not only in your project, but <laughs> projects in general yeah. is sourcing items that okay. she has selected and then they're mm. out of stock or prices increase or whatever it might be so then having to go back to her being like Can you yeah like sorry <laughs> like even you know is that so like that's a, is that like a common thing usually? yeah yeah it has Just been like for unavailable us. stuff from sourcing yeah okay. stock is inventory is always really low or things um just go out of stock or the eta gets pushed out yeah um, and then luckily this didn't happen like, really at all for your project, but you know, items will come in damaged a lot too. And so we have to rectify those things. Okay. But this is a, this has been a problem that we've seen since COVID. Yeah. Um, and it's just has escalated. Um, but we still had to reselect some things just because they were out of stock and they wouldn't have been here in time for yeah. installation. So that would have been fine on my end. Okay. The most difficult part of the process. I think figuring out like the logistics of the media wall okay. and just like how the different layers were going to work with each other mm -hmm. and uh, talking with the 
contractor about that mm-hmm. and just making sure that we were on the same page yeah so that it actually came out to be comes together yeah it's like obviously i added to the challenge because <laughs> <laughs> of my selection of contractors on my end, but the ones that we ended up working with, <laughs> we had a delay because of a contractor that I chose. So that was why it's taken almost a year. <laughs> Otherwise it would have been probably six months instead. But um, the w- contractors that you guys put in, me in contact with that actually did all the other projects were amazing. And like literally within a couple weeks or a month or whatever, each project was done. So challenge on that end was my contractor selection (laughs) for sure unfortunately you never know right until you pick somebody and so that's why we work with the same people yeah for years i can see why yeah yeah, because it's just and that's yeah to get the job done bonus too to working with designers Mm -hmm. that we have our list of preferred vendors our trusted vendors that we work with day in day out project after project so you have that reliability that trust mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but yeah yeah definitely important like this would be the perfect <laughs> time to give them a shout out yeah right? <laughs> oh, for right. sure yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. so uh jared with innovative custom contractors and montana with westwood vintage i'll have links to not only your guys's information but the contractors as well because they did amazing. I would trust them with all my projects. So yeah, yeah. if you're looking for that, you can always find those um, in the description. So besides challenges for design, was there a piece that was the hardest to source? I know you said that's just an issue, but was there one specific one? The You can't see them in the shots now, but uh, <laughs> there are the black boucle. Uh, oh, the, the okay. Ottomans. Yeah. Ottomans, yeah. 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 Um, they just kept getting delayed, oh. delay after delay, and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to tell Aubrey that they're delayed again. Yes. So I think that was just kind of stressful, and then, I don't know if you remember, because it's kind of, yeah. you know, but there was that battle of, okay, do we just cancel it, yeah. or select, or do we, we wait? wait or, yeah. you know, so it's weighing that risk, and we waited, well, luckily, because they <laughs> look so good. Luckily, they came in, yeah, because of my delay. Perfect. <laughs> right, that one wasn't on you. <laughs> so that's good. Yeah, for sure. So I think that was the first thing that came to mind. Kind of went back to like the Pinterest board and me kind of selecting what I, what my interests were. Um, but as far as like inspiration behind each of them, like when I looked up things, I would consider what I was interested in to be like like modern luxury as like my style. Would you? consider that like what each room is kind of like inspired by or something different i definitely think modern luxury modern modern glam is the the category that i put you in yeah style for sure okay yeah nice yeah (laughs) like i think that's what it is like the more i looked in i'm like what is this caption of this pinterest you know picture and that's like just what it came up to be so yeah because you like clean lines Mm -hmm. and simplicity yeah um and obviously like more mo- monochromatic yeah. with a little pop of color green <laughs> <laughs> those are only colors <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> greens yeah which is um like one of my favorite styles to do i love anything modern anything contemporary mm-hmm. um i love throwing a little bling in things yeah. too so color yeah a little, <laughs> little bit but what i like about like even like with my bedroom i know it's mainly like black white but i could always add color with like blankets or like anything else like pillows. yeah pillows i can just like incorporate colors because it's pretty neutral mm-hmm. yeah so i like that for sure yeah and so like i know green is like mainly just in my living room but i also like that you incorporated some plants like in the entryway the plants we have a planter that you guys had custom like done and then the mirror which i absolutely love the circle mirror i think it just kind of like opens up i know my entryway is actually pretty decent but i yeah. think the mirror just kind of opens it up even more it definitely does and it's a huge scale too mm-hmm. the mirror is so like you can see your whole entire outfit yes <laughs> But yeah, we wanted to bring a lot of like the outside in mm-hmm. by having plants, obviously, yeah. in the living room and yes. then bringing it into the entryway so that when you walk into the house, like you feel kind of like you're outside, but you're right. in this modern luxury as well. I like the planter too, because it like, 
I can't keep cacti alive. So, you know, we had to like, none, none, of, us. none of us, we all kill <laughs> murderers <laughs> for sure. You're not plant mom at no. all, uh -uh. at all, but let's, it'll stay nice. I want to replace it, exactly. which I absolutely love. And they look pretty real, which yeah. I love. Yeah. We have a really good vendor for that. Definitely. So, yeah. Well, it was such a pleasure working with you guys. You made it so easy. This whole process, I pretty much didn't have to do anything until they contacted me mm -hmm. saying, make your choices or what do you, you know, which one do you want or setting up installation or when contractors were coming, just made it like such an easy process. And they were really fun to work with too. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We always yeah. had so much fun on okay, install good. days. He's like today, like it was uh -huh. always such a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. And I love how decisive you are too. Am I? Okay. Yes. yes. Cause I'm usually indecisive, but it, when it's something that I like know, I'm like, oh, I like this. I like this. Yeah. yeah. Well, good. Yeah. So. You were very decisive, which was made it so easy on <laughs> <Yeah>. our <laughs> side of things. Cause I can't tell you how many times I've had clients that are like, I don't know. Really? And they yeah. just never pick. They just can't like decide. Like a decision. Yeah. Okay. And you were just. I'm, I'm good if I have choices. It's like, oh yeah, I like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I don't know, it's like, I don't know. It could be anything, you know? Yeah. But when you offer like two, three options, then I'm like, oh, I like that. I don't like that. And like when there were options that maybe I wasn't sure of, you guys always had like extra mm -hmm. options. So that just made it so much easier. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> definitely prepared. Definitely on top of it. Great communication. So Dang. it was just. So awesome, and I'm glad it's finally done. I know. <laughs> now we get to shoot this, um, but let everyone know where they can follow you or reach out to you. Yeah, um, Instagram, P by P Designs. We post awesome project photos, funny reels. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, and then we also have Facebook and TikTok. TikTok, oh my God, I don't even know what our handle is. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's P by P Design. Underscore, no. That's what I'm saying. It'll, It'll be listed be in the caption. <laughs> so you can I click it. No, we should not. That's fine. <laughs> you, can click, you can click it directly. Um, also, all the contractors as well that we work with. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank I love you. how it turned out. I love my house. You'll see a lot of pictures of me here, and yeah. you'll know that they designed it. So, yay. Okay. So glad you're happy. Yes.